hey how's it going everybody welcome to a new video so today i'm going to show you how to fix the easy anti-cheat system either not being read on your computer saying that it's not installed or there was just simply an error it's pretty simple i'll show you two methods that have worked for me before um, actually i just had to use one of these methods just now as i installed an additional memory to my laptop and i moved all my games to that new file anyways i got this issue and it wouldn't launch fortnite so one of the things that you can do is find the anti-cheat folder which should actually be installed into your fortnite folder when you install fortnite and if you already had fortnite it should already be there as well so what we have to do is find that folder and jump into it i'll go ahead and leave some text down below which you can copy and actually paste in the search bar of your file explorer um so hopefully you can see my screen if not hopefully my description will help you out enough so what you want to do is find the easy anti-cheat folder you're going to go ahead and jump in and you're going to look for the one that looks like a blue bear it's actually called easy anti-cheat eos setup you're going to go ahead and right click on it you're going to click on show more options at the bottom and you're going to want to create a shortcut so now you have two with one being the new shortcut we just made go ahead and right click into that and then click on properties if you look there's already highlighted text in the target box what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the very end right where it says exe hit the space bar and you're gonna type the following text bean install space prod dash or minus for those of you that don't know what dash is fn so let me say that again right where exe ends you're gonna hit space and type out the word install that's i n s t a l l space p r o d dash or minus f n then you're going to go ahead and click apply and OK. So now all you have to do is just go ahead and launch the new shortcut that you have here. Once you launch the shortcut, it should allow you to go ahead and open Fortnite. So go ahead and test that out and see if that works. Once you hit apply and you hit OK, you can go ahead and launch the new shortcut and it's going to ask you to give it permission. Just go ahead and hit yes. It's basically going to do something on its own. Now you can go to your Epic Games launcher and launch Fortnite. And you should be able to do so without any issues. Now, if that happens to not work, then we'll go ahead and jump onto the second method. I have read as well that the first method you may have to repeat every so often. Um, but hopefully, since you already have the anti cheat system in there, You'll just be able to launch it and then that should be good to go. But let's go ahead and go into the second method. All right. So once you have Fortnite installed, you want to go ahead and go to your library on the Epic Games launcher. Click on the bottom right three dots where Fortnite is at. Click on manage. And then you're going to want to go ahead and click on verify files. What this d does is basically it makes sure that you have everything you need installed. Uh, just keep in mind that again, this may not be the only solution to this problem. So go ahead and try the other method that I did mention. And then of course your final um, fix or one of your final fixes would be to uninstall and reinstall, uh, restart your computer, make sure you have Windows Update. Uh, updated but again that's kind of all extra stuff that of course you need but it may not be tied to this specific issue let me know if this works for you and if it doesn't let me know as well and then i'll go ahead and try to help you as best as i can if this video did help you out consider giving it a like consider consider subscribing and checking out my other videos for those of you that have seen my other videos they're um mainly tied to fixing issues specifically to gaming but I've been kind of trying to move more towards uh, gaming itself, doing challenges and whatnot. So yeah, check them out. See you next time.